Anzac Test, April 24, 1998, and Australia were on fire. Daly again. They cut out a play on Lockie into the back line. Rudolph, Rudolph's over. With their backs to the wall, in true Anzac spirit, the Kiwis bounce back. Chuck still. Sheer guts and dogged determination. The Anzac Test match has been won by the Kiwis. New Zealand lead the series 1-0. Tonight from Suncorp Stadium, the second test. Australia versus New Zealand on the one and only wide world of sports. It's been 45 years since New Zealand last defeated Australia in a rugby league test series. But tonight, as we welcome you to the Suncorp Stadium, that long drought could be broken if Frank Endicott's men can take out this second visa test match. Of course, back in April, the Black and Whites were successful in knocking over Australia 22-16. That was at the North Harbour Stadium in Auckland. And Paul Vaughton, I guess the question tonight is, can New Zealand come up with a similar winning performance six months down the track? Pet, it should be a very interesting night tonight, in particular because it's being played here at Suncorp Stadium, formerly Lang Park, because the Kiwis have had plenty of luck here over the years. In 1983, Australia was supposed to win a game by about 20. We got beaten. And then in 1987, exactly the same circumstances. You played in that game and you got smashed as well. So who knows what's ahead tonight? Well, let's have a look at the lineups. Yeah, very strong side, the Australian side. You have to remember, a lot of these players finished in form and very fit. The side is Lockyer fullback, Brasher and Sailor on the wings, Renoff and Darren Smith in the centres, 5'8", Kevy Walters, and Alanga captains Australia for the very first time. Lock forward is Jason Smith, Robbie Kearns and Gordon Tallis in the second rows. The front rows are Darren Britt and Shane Webke, Andrew Johns the hooker, coached by Wayne Bennett, also for the very first time as Australian coach. And for New Zealand, Matthew Ridge is the fullback and the captain. Hoppy and Barnett, the wingers. Iroh and Wicky, the centre pairing. Robbie Paul is the 5'8". Stacey Jones at halfback. Logan Swan locks the scrum. Kearney and McCracken, the second rowers. Pongia, Joe Bangana and Sid Iru make up the front row. Namu, Iru, Pulatua and Kalis on the interchange bench. Their coach is Frank Endicott. Quite a few changes from back in April, but that's no surprise, and more so for the Australian squad. Six months a long time in rugby league, isn't it? Plenty of uh, changes for the Australians in particular. Look at this. So a lot of Broncos have come into the side, I think mainly because they actually won the comp. They finished uh, very fit and very well. And some of those players who are out were obviously unavailable through injury. Players such as uh, Laurie Daly, uh, Jeff Toothy, Paul Harrigan and Dean Pay. And for New Zealand, a big plus tonight, the return of Stephen Kearney. He was out suspended in the first game. Kalis and Pula Tua come in, two teenagers from the Sydney competition. No Richie Blackmore and some oomph taken out up front with no John Lomax and Terry Hermanson. And of course, Paul, that opens up an opportunity for some new caps in the side for the Kangaroos, Smith, Webke, Britt, Kearns, Talis, Iken and Price. They make their debut. And for the Kiwis, Kalis and Pula Tua, two young men who had very, very good seasons for both Parramatta and Penrith respectively this year. Who are you tipping? I'm tipping Australia, but only just this New Zealand side will come out all fired up, especially for the first 20 minutes. Then they do seem to have a problem. They can't keep it going. But I think the Australians, because they finished so well in the club competition, they'll win just. Yeah, I'm going for an Australian victory. I think it will be a narrow.